Hey everybody, my name is Jared. I'm Jake. Uh, together we're J&J &J 3D Printing. Um, showcasing you uh, some more stuff that we've printed up here. Um, we got some stuff on here, uh, our table today, that is uh, pretty unique. It's pretty interesting. Uh, really cool. Really cool. Really cool stuff. If you're into D&D, you don't even have to be in the D. If, if, if you're just into cool stuff, this, is, this stuff here is awesome. Um, these are mugs uh, by a company uh, called Mythic Mugs. Um, they had a Kickstarter about a year ago, um, and they designed mugs for 5e, uh, D and D, um, Pathfinder, 3.5, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever. RPG. Um, the thing that's kind of neat about them is they are designed to fit a can of your choice, whether it's a you know a soda can or an energy drink can uh, or an adult beverage can, uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can pop the tops off of these and slide your can right inside of there and there you go you have yourself a nice drinkable stein they hold 12 ounce or 16 ounce um, as you can see there's a variety of designs um, if we start off over here on the left this first one here this is actually a racial one this is for the tieflings um, we've got the mug and then in front of it's a nice little dice holder or whatever you want to put in it uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be dice uh, but they work pretty well for that Um, this one here, which you saw me uh, taking the lid off earlier, that is for our Warlocks. Um, it's got a cool little design with the eye on the front, the chains going down the side, uh, the lid of it's got this nice little swirly vortex on the lid. Um, cool piece. You got all the runes on the handle. Yeah, really cool piece. Um, these two right here are something I just did. Uh, I took a couple mugs. This is actually the Wizard's mug. Um, this one here is the Necromancer, I believe. Um, and all I did is I shrunk them down in size. And what I did with this is I turned this into a potion, health potion for my players. That way if they need to use health in the game, they can just roll the dice right out of the potion bottle. Um, if they find treasure and they find a potion, I can just hand them a potion bottle. Um, this other one there, the green one that my brother has, I use that as a poison vial. I'm um, just showing you some options that you can do with these for prop wise if you want to get into that in your games. Um, this set here is for the Artificer. Um, this one here is probably the most I don't know how to, you can set it up in a variety of different ways. Unique? Yeah, most unique. Um, as you see, you got the mug itself, you've got the holder for the mug, you can put the dice holder inside of there, um, put the mug inside of there, you can take this off, this in itself can be a container. Um, a lot of variety of this one here that you can do with the Artificer mug. Um, pretty unique piece in its own right. Especially if you like the Artificer class. Yeah, the Artificer class, for those of you who don't know, is um, I want to say if it's a newer class or, or reintroduced class into 5e, uh, more along the lines of a scientific mage type of thing. My personal favorite. Uh, my brother likes playing barbarians. Smash. This is the barbarian mug. Dice holder, of course. Um, these other ones right here, actually, you can probably just pan down from there at this point. Whoa. These other ones right here, this is the uh, for the bard. Um, the, if you'd like to play the pan flute. Yeah. Well, that's very. Very good. Thank you. Uh, this right here is for the Druid. Highly detailed on the Druid. Hi, Druid, Druid. Druid one's really neat. I like the top of it. I like the flower on the top of the lid. Um, and I also like the uh, the skull, for the, the bird skull in the front mm -hmm. of it there. Um, this is for the Clerics. The Clerics, the lid comes off. And then underneath, there's actually another stylized lid. Um, same thing with the dice holder. Comes off underneath. There's another stylized lid. Um, this kind of reminds me of the... Um, what are those called when they go around and they, they spread the smoke around? Oh yeah. Smoke spreader things. Yes, the monks. Yes. Um, next set here, this is the paladin. Incense. Incense burner. There we go. <laughs> uh, paladin set's neat. Uh, Don't make this player mad because these are sharp. Those are sharp. Let's stab you. And this one here is the fighter. The fighter's actually my personal favorite just because it's got the dragon on the front of it. Um, it's got the shield, it's got the chain mail uh, along the sides of it. Um, really cool, actually really popular piece. Um, again, these are set up for, I have uh, the availability of the 14 main player classes. I think it's 14 now. I believe so, yes. Uh, there's one for every, every one of the main classes. Um, there's a mug for a lot of the main races. Um, and there's even some other mugs, uh, like there's a Mimic mug, which I don't have available right now. Um, Very cool. And Very some cool. other ones that you can you can use. Um, what I've done with these, 
thinking outside the box with these a little bit is I presented the, presented these to my players um, as treasure during the game during the game session that we had. Um, that way they each got a mug that matched their corresponding class. And then what I've done for them is every time they bring their mug with them to their session, I let them roll their hit dice out of it. So if you get a if your hit dice is a D8, you can roll a D8 out of it, and that gives you whatever you roll temporary hit points for that session. I hold um, my head in shame because I forgot my mug several yes, times. You forget your mug, you do not get to roll for the extra hit dice. Um, and believe it or not, that extra hit dice has uh, been the difference between life or death on a couple of occasions. Yes. Um, another thing that they have over here, so this is uh, not a mug, this is actually a dice tower. Um, really cool design. Uh, you throw the dice in the eye holes there, they roll out, of course, land in the mouth. Um, this is another design from Soren over there at Mythic Mugs. Um, Very popular. We actually have this on Etsy right now. It's one of our top sellers. Uh, so check it out. Yeah, I think you guys are really like it. Uh, they are going to be doing a second Kickstarter here soon, and I'm looking forward to that because I really enjoyed this first one. Um, these are probably, I think altogether there were 32 mugs, so this is only just a small collection of what they have. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen here. Uh, my name's Jared. This, this is Jake. Jake. Uh, we're J and J 3D Printing. Uh, please like our channel, subscribe to us. Hit the alerts. Um, tell, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your parents. Tell your dogs. Tell everybody you can think of. Get uh, us on Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, website, J and J 3D Printing. We are licensed merchants for Mythic mugs. So if you see anything here that you like, uh, look us up, and we'll get you Just hooked up nice with a bling. Print. We got the bling.